Hello, hello. Today we went on an adventure outside of Chenggu. So this place is about two hours or so um, northeast of Chenggu. So these are, um, it's a protected UNESCO heritage site. I'm totally going to slaughter the name if I try to say it. So I'll put the name in the description as well as um, in the title of this because I don't even want to try to say it because I 100% will slaughter the name. But look at this, like this is so damn beautiful. So it's open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and there's four different um, trekking routes or it's not really a truck let's be real it's paved <laughs> uh, hiking trails that you can do here that range in difficulty as well as in length so the shortest one is 45 minutes that's red um, the one we're doing is go is the white one and it is six kilometers so it should take us about four hours to walk through this <laughs> banana time. Green banana and a bag full of ripe <laughs> banana. We're taking the white route today. Man, this is cool as shit here. We're just talking like Oh, chengu has been amazing, don't get me wrong, but we haven't left Chenggu, like little tiny Chenggu. In two months, we're thinking, we need to like come up here and stay, like, can we turn this around? Oh, look at this, look at this. Like, there are some, some guest houses right there. Could you imagine waking up every morning, just even if we did this for like a month, every morning waking up and seeing this view? Oh my lord, this would be amazing. Plus, there's a lot of places, like a lot of waterfalls and other um, other things I want to see and do more up here. So this would actually be a really good home base for a month and then do a lot, a lot of day trips.
so we just made it back to our motorbikes um so it did it took us just under four hours and that is with us stopping um for one coconut cold of course two different snacks um as well as like you know when we have our our phones out recording and stuff that always takes longer than if you're actually walking it yourself. So if you had to walk it yourself, the white route would probably take, eh, I would say three hours if I had to guess. Yeah. So the entry fee was 40,000 uh, rupiah, which is like, it's less than $5. As always, like the video, leave me a comment. What did you think of this place? I definitely, definitely need to do more. Uh, day trips outside of Chengdu. Uh, subscribe for more unique travel adventures and the next one will be right here <laughs> in three, two, one.